Good afternoon. I'm sorry I'm behind. This is case D515892, Avila v. Martinez at Safer Counter Call. Counsel, kindly your appearance for the record. Good afternoon, Your Honor. Netta Gandhi, bar number 11137. Here on behalf of me is, um, here on, with me is uh, Ignacio Avila, who's also present to my right. Good afternoon and welcome. And Rosie Martinez, you are defendant, mother, representing yourself, correct? Yes. Correct. For the record. Your Honor. Um, Ms. Nathan did file a motion to withdraw, not based on failure to pay fees, which I would have denied. It was based on lack of cooperation and, and unwillingness to file a retainer agreement. So I did allow her out of the case. Do you have any settlements agreements? We do, actually. Well, it was very good that the court was running behind because we Yay, settled the case and happens. come to a full resolution. <laughs> All right. And um, we're ready to prove up. Both stand. Raise your right hand. Madam Clerk will swear you in, and we can prove it up. You and each of you do sound You have to speak out loud. Yes. Yes. Thank, thank you. you. I just wanted to tell you thanks for that funny card. Did you guys make that card up? Or we did, you? yeah. That it was, was like a template, I but then we it. put the inside stuff in there. I saved it because it was so funny. All right, go ahead. Um, Your Honor, these are the terms that we've come to. You guys can sit and relax if you'd like. Sure. Um, the terms on the record, and if Ms. Martinez believes, you know, um, please have her speak up, or please, like, tell me if you don't think that I'm saying. I'll canvas her at the end, too. What, um, and we, we can just vacate both outside. dates on the calendar. Uh, mm -hmm. But in short, um, the parties are going to keep the same schedule that they reached with the temporary orders. So the temporary order will become permanent? Exactly, Your Honor. Um, with that temporary order, Mom will have primary physical. Um, the parties will have joint legal. Uh, the child's name will be changed. Um, she will retain mom's last name first, Martinez, and then dad's last name, Avila. So it's hyphenated or no hyphen? No hyphen. So Martinez, no hyphen, Avila. Okay. Um, child support will be set at $400 per month. Hold on, let me go back to the name change. So I can also include in the order that the birth certificate shall be amended to reflect same. So that you can do that. So. For school and stuff, it needs to, they'll last for the birth certificate. Um, child support will be set at $400 with um, an additional $50 going to arrears. That would make up for um, birth and costs and other medical expenses that mom had. So the current amount will be $450 for current and then $50 additional for arrears. So he'll have a monthly support obligation of um, $450 until their arrears are paid off. Do you have an established arrears amount? Um, we do not, and we'll have to probably discuss that. It's never been established. So, so. for the order, counsel to work with the parties to establish arrears so that there's a, a certain date when dad will be done with the extra $50? Um, I would just ask that we could put like a deadline of let's say 30 or 60 days for Ms. Martinez to get us the bills. And if we don't have those bills, what we'll do is we'll include um, the time of the child's birth up until the time the current uh, support orders went in, a back support. But then I believe she has medical bills too, but I just want to put a finite date on when she's going to get us the bills. And if How she How quickly can you get all um, proof of birthing and birthing costs and uncovered medical costs? Today I already have them ready. So we'll give her 60 days just so that, she, you know, she has some time. We have some time to include it. Right. I don't want to rush her and, like, if she needs to look for bills. If 30 days is fine. I'm just trying to be 30 good. days. 30 days. I have them ready because I send them to Bell, but I don't know. Did you send them by email? Yeah, yeah. So then you should be able just to easily forward, forward yeah. them over to Netta's office. Mm -hmm. Okay, so 30 days to provide any and all uncovered medical costs through today's date from the birth of the child, October 2013, and, and birthing costs as well. Um, and both parties will carry health insurance? No offset. No offset. Um, as so long as it's available through their employer. Basically, both are receiving culinary benefits, so it's next to nothing to carry the child, so we just like him to be. Okay. Her to be doubling. No insured. problem. Um, the holiday schedule has already been set in the um, temporary order. We'd like to make that permanent as well. Okay, so the default holiday schedule should be attached to your final custody or decree or order. Yeah. 
And I believe that's it. I think that's the global resolution, Your Honor. Okay. Both of them should get a copy. Yeah. Uh, Dad, you heard the terms that were placed on the record by your lawyer. Do you uh, agree that these are the terms that you intended to agree to with Mom relative to sharing time with Jaslyn in the financial matters? You know what? I'm sorry. Sorry. Did you understand what yes, was said? Yes, yes, I did. And those that's what you agreed to, correct? Yes. And do you believe that that, that agreement is in the best interest of Jaslyn? Yes. And do you believe the way you've resolved the financial matters are fair and equitable for purposes of bringing the case to a settlement versus a trial today? Yes. Mom, you heard the terms that Netta put on the record. Does that sound like the agreement that you made with Dad? Yes. Do you believe that th those terms are in Jaslyn's best interest? Yes. And do you believe the way you're settling the financial matters are fair and equitable for purposes of settlement? Yes. Okay. So I will take off. The motion to withdraw has already been granted, so it's moot and it's not going to be on March 8th at 10. Then the custody, um, you guys were stack one on March 8th at 1.30. That will be taken off. I really appreciate you guys coming to an agreement. It's so much better for your child that you don't have a stranger tell you what to do, and that you can talk to each other and make up your own mind, and I think that'll be better for Jaslyn in the long run. Netta will draft, and then Mom will have the uh, seven days to review and sign off. If Mom does not sign off, please just have a transmittal letter or something advising the date so that... I know that she has had her time to sign off. Of course. And send her a copy of the minute so she knows that you were trying to just create an order based on what we did today. And um, make sure you get that information over to her office as quick as you can. You don't need to take up the 30 days. Just send it as soon as you have it. And I'll give her my card right now so she has my email address. That's a very good idea. And then you guys, um, once the file is, uh, sorry, once the order is done or the decree of custody is done, it'll close the case. I appreciate your work on the case. Thank you, Anna. Have a Thank good you. afternoon. Thank you, you too.